Hi, so good day everyone. For today's topic or presentation, I'm going to discuss or talk about the data we have gathered regarding the modular modality, the perspective or the solicit feedbacks of parents, teachers, school administrators, including the students, their perspective on how to improve modular learning. When we say modular learning, it is an accessible modality which parents themselves preferred for their children. This involves students being taught through printed self-learning modules. And according to Secretary Briones, this is the backbone of distance learning as of this moment. Since for the situation today, we cannot have a face-to-face -face interactions or learning with the student. Let's... For the individualized instruction, it the modality this modality allows learners to use self-learning modules or SLMs in a print or digital format, electronic copy, whichever is applicable to the learner. And let's start with the parents feedback. According to the five parents we have interviewed and based on our data that we have gathered, we conducted an interview and uh, Ask them a few questions on how to possibly improve the quality of modular learning implemented in public schools. Majority of the parents answered that in order to improve the modular learning, they should provide a balance of asynchronous and synchronous lessons because with our current mode of learning, which we are only relying on the printed materials, there are things that printed materials can't be taught to our students at home. Students should have an interactions with teachers and classmates so they can also help students feel connected to their learning community. And also, identify the support of struggling students during the current crisis or students are struggling in many ways. DepEd should do something. One of the parents, uh, one of the parents uh, stated that DepEd should do something to address uh, the need of academic support by providing technology, gadget assistance, so the students can utilize those things to support their learning needs. Lastly, self-placed learning modules. They said that upon using learning modules, it should. Uh, manage their capacity to produce learning that meets all their trainings because there are times that there are child ha that has only relying on them when it comes to answering their learning modules printed materials should create a wide variety of effective learning materials that career to diverse type of learners this is from the parents and now let's proceed with the feedback of one of the teachers from a specific school. Her name is Ms. Fernaline Velasco. What are the teacher rule of the teacher in modular learning? She stated that as a teacher, we are flexible with different curriculum. However, in this time of pandemic, we have used distant learning via module and Zoom class. In our module or modules, we gave integration of faith first to give hope to our students and introduce God. In our module, also, we gave different activities for their holistic development. We always give clear instructions and pictures and clues for them to easily answer the worksheet. And for Mom Leonora Sibayan, in her opinion, to improve the quality of modular learning, the teacher should provide feedback about the student's assessment so that the students would know what are the skills that they need to improve. Feedbacking like calling or texting the parents or the students informing how well the students do in their outfit. So based on Miss Leonora, we have to observe our child and guide them. And let's continue with one of the teachers from Binugao National High School, 
Mr. Michael Janabe, modular learning have became the medium of instruction since pandemic happened. Because of this, a lot of students are facing difficulties, especially in adapting this type of learning. The main challenges that the students have encountered are self-studying, poor internet connection, lack of sleep, and time to answer all the modules to, due to the great number of activities, distraction, and lack of focus. Yes, correct. Because some of our students at home, there are a lot of distractions. So this will be the time the teachers needs to be flexible. And also for him, it's a big adjustment for everyone. Absolutely. This is a new way of learning would also test our patients in order to improve the quality of modular learning. The teacher must also think of strategies or technique in making this modules or entertaining technique in making the modules modules more entertaining and at the same time knowledgeable for the students. The learning should find new ways to meet the students' needs. Especially this modular learning is more on self-study and would depend on resources such as internet and books. So for the teachers, we really have to we must have a creative mind and we have we always have to be flexible in uh, times of especially when in times of situation like this okay so and also according to mr justin terriba a teacher from crossing bayabas national high school as we experience pandemic all government agencies are affected. In line for our educational field, DepEd initiates self-learning modules or SLMs, continuing self-pace of enhancing learning through SLMs. We can assure that the printed modules distributed at the Crossing Bayabas National High School are quality and relevant because one of the programs of the schools is double-checking each subject and the person who are intended to that are master teachers and every subject as learning module continue we are proud to say that we keep on making a quality education well uh, next let's have some uh, feedback coming from the students what are the need of the students in modular learning of course Provide a reliable, efficient, and accurate learning materials by ensuring appropriateness of the module based on the learner's need. Limit the errors in spelling and instruction to avoid confusion to the learners. Well, this is very common for the students. They are complaining regarding the printed materials or the for the modular modality because they will not... Sometimes the printed words or the drawings are not really clear but we could always make alternative ways for this okay next there are also advantages and disadvantages of modular learning modality and Scholars generally agree that modular degrees have many advantages for students in terms of the capacity to offer flexibility, choice, access, and mobility. It is also widely argued that modular structures may be beneficial to universities and that they are potentially allow institutions to respond to the needs of employers. Okay. Since modular learning is the new normal we will have to adapt or adjust on the ways that it is being used and also i would like to add the uh, impact of modular learning using a difference in differences framework with diverse adoption dates per school the results indicate that Modular learning education may significantly reduce schools drop out by 2.5 percentage points with the largest effect effect on foreign origin countries. 
and also the significant study about modular distance learning. The use of modules encourages independent study. And one of the benefits of using modules for instruction is the acquisition of better self-study or learning skills among students. Students engage themselves in the concepts presented in the module. Okay, so I guess that's all for my presentation. Thank you so much.